today, we are fortunate to have with us Felix Scher, father of the late Gregory Scher, who is the eighth Australian soldier to tragically be killed in Afghanistan, a dedicated member of the Australian Defence Forces and an inspiration to us all. Greg was the exemplary embodiment of the Anzac hope for a brighter future that we have been discussing today. Mr. Sher, we welcome you to Mount Scopus. First and foremost, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Lorraine White and my daughter-in-law, Renit, for inviting me here today to talk about Anzac Day and our late, beloved, little son, Gregory, who was a Special Forces soldier. My name is Felix Sher, father of Gregory Michael Sher. Let me begin by saying that what, what, I, what virtues I make mention of relating to Greg in my presentation today all of you have the ability to replicate those virtues and good deeds. All of you can accomplish and achieve your aspirations. So what is Anzac Day? It is a national day of remembrance in Australia and New Zealand that broadly commemorates all Australians and New Zealanders who served and died in all wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations, and the contributing, contribution and suffering of those who have served. Observed on the 25th of April each year, Anzac Day was originally devised to honour the members of the Australian and New Zealand Arms Corps, hence Anzac, who served in the Lipoli campaign and their, their first engagement in the Great War of 1914-1918. Unlike Remembrance Day, which is a memorial day observed on the 11th of November, by many countries in the world since the end of World War I to remember members of their armed forces who have died in the line of duty, Anzac Day is specific to Australia and New Zealand. Anzac Day is similar to Yom Hazikaron, which generally falls on the night of the 4th of year, and we honour all the Israeli soldiers that have sacrificed their lives. Yom Hazikaron could be translated in English to Remembrance Day. Anzac Day is a day of mourning for the Australian and New Zealand soldiers, irrespective of their religious persuasion, who have been killed in battle in order to afford us the wonderful free lives that we live. For our family and 41 others I know of, Anzac Day has a very special significance. We attend the dawn service at Special Forces Unit in Williamstown, and then Yvonne, my wife and I, visit our middle son, Gregory's grave at Linter Cemetery. Private Gregory Markle Shur, the Lon Mechelo in Yuna, the Shlomo Halevi, was killed in a rocket attack in Uruzgan province, southern Afghanistan, on Sunday, the 4th of January, 2009. The 8th of Tevent, 5769, he was 30 years old. He was most inspirational. Greg was always striving for growth as a man of ideals and principles and as a man of action, working on every skill and talent, whether mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, to fill his potential, to be the best that he could be in order to serve others. Despite his love of chocolate, he was a fitness fanatic. He had incredible muscles. He grew up to be a trained warrior, yet he was drawn to read poetry and love music. He immigrated to Australia at the age of eight with me, Yvonne, older brother Stephen, and younger brother Barry in September 1986. Gregory was a most lovable character and a caring humanitarian. Kids were irres irresistibly drawn to him, and as a field medic in East Timor in 2002, he was always surrounded by them. Greg had an overwhelming passion for security and the military. It was 17 years ago that Greg was one of the founding, serving members of Jewish Community Security Group, the CSG. 
using all his skills and talents to benefit the group's growth and progress. He remained an active member until his death. A huge portrait of him is clearly visible at CSG. With Greg, you relate, no matter the context in which you met him, school, CSG, or in a defence force. And like a golden thread, everyone felt the same about Greg. He joined the Victorian Association of Jewish Ex-Servicemen and Women, VAJAX, as the youngest member two years prior to his death. His special qualities and contributions were greatly appreciated. VAJAX is now the promoter of the Greg Sher Award, an award that all Jewish day schools in Victoria promote. Greg was interested in many subjects, science, astronomy, psychology, a very deep individual, constantly striving for self-improvement. He liked to read Picard Vought, Ethics of the Fathers. True to one of the teachings, he greeted everyone with a very beautiful smile. Greg had a wonderfully developed sense of goodness and integrity, and was always careful, weighing up right and wrong, his sense of responsibility motivated him to put up his hand for all kinds of training and tough assignments. His sturdy qualities were certainly recognised by the military, which made sure that he was selected for the most elite of units, not only to fight, but to serve and protect. What contributed to making Greg the excellent soldier that he was is the fact that not only did he get to know his weaponry and study his enemy, but Greg knew how to con be considerate towards people and care for them. Gregory was a proud soldier, doing what he always wanted to do. He was in the Special Forces and achieved that by hard work and determination. He was not conscripted. He was not forced to go to Afghanistan. He was there because he wanted to be there. Just as he was in East Timor in 2002. He was there of his own free will to make a positive difference. An extremely important point to remember is that the time of his death, Gregory was a Jewish man helping Afghan Muslims. This is what he wanted for himself, for the cause, for his unit, for his mates. Gregory hoped that he would enable little Afghan girls who would be prevented by the Taliban from going to school or just walking in the streets to be able to do so. He didn't see himself as a hero, but he had a burning desire to help, to fulfill his love for Australia, his country, his home and what it stands for. Greg's love of Yiddish heart, his Jewish pride, which he never hid from his fellow soldiers, earned him the enduring love and respect of all, Jews and non-Jews. His army mates affectionately and, respected, and respectfully called him Super Jew. Hours after his death, they built a mother David for him at their desert base in Afghanistan, so he would not have his memorial service under a cross. That very beautifully made huge Mughal David is now located in the Shul at Lindhurst, Hebula, Kodisha Cemetery. A plaque at the base provides details of the non-Jewish soldier that made it for him. There is no greater evidence of the camaraderie that exists among Special Forces soldiers than the building of that Mughal David for Gregory. Even after his death, he had a positive influence on other people. Many soldiers and friends have also named their children after Gregory. My three grandsons and a granddaughter carry his name in their middle names. On the 11th December 2014, Gregory was honoured at the Australian War Memorial in Canberra. A story was read about him at the last post ceremony that takes place each day at 5pm. If perhaps you're thinking that the praises and appreciation of Greg seem to be too good to be true, if you're thinking, how could anyone be that good? I believe the true answer lies in the freely flowing tears of the hardened soldiers, his mates who bore Greg's coffin at the Ram Ceremony on Friday the 9th of January 2009, when his body was returned to us in Melbourne, in the giant RAA of C-17, and who once again bore his coffin at his military funeral at Olympus, Victoria, on Sunday the 11th of January 2009. To sum it up in the words of the prophet Zechariah, not by my might, nor by my power, but by my spirit. 
such is the legacy bequeathed by us, by, and by Gregory Michael Scherer. By his memory, may his memory be forever cherished and blessed. Thank you. I wish you all, uh, all and your families a pleasant Pesach. And if you want to see Greg's website, you can go to www.gregsher.com. Mr. Sher, we would like to thank you very, very much for being willing to speak to us today. Your words have left us with a lot to think about. Thank you for being willing to share your story. And we would like to present you with this certificate of our thanks. Thank you very much.